Hi, everyone, and welcome to Backer Breaks It Down. In this episode, we are going to take a look at properties of logarithms. These properties, you might need to use these to solve logarithmic equations, but that is a whole nother episode. So what are these properties of logarithms? So there's three of them. Okay, we have the power rule, the product rule, and the quotient rule. And we are primarily going to use these properties to condense logarithms. So what I mean by that is to take multiple logarithms and write them as one single logarithm. Okay. Um, so you have the power rule. And you'll notice when you look at the two sides of the power rule, there's only one single log on each side. Um, so the power rule is necessary to deal with any coefficients of logarithms, okay? Like you would have to use the power rule first to um, eliminate coefficients, and that's what they're doing. So notice like on the right-hand side, it says C times log base B of R. C is a coefficient, and it can't be there if we're going to condense logarithms. So the power rule says make it a power. Okay, so the coefficient simply becomes an exponent, and that's what you're seeing right here, r to the c power, okay? Um, the product rule and the quotient rule, this is where we are taking multiple logs and writing them as one. So when it comes to that product rule, this is if we have like log plus log. So if I have log plus log, I can write it as one single log and notice what they did here, okay? They multiplied the insides of our two logarithms. So one insider was R, the other one was S. And since we were adding, they said R times S is the new inside. So that's what the product rule does. It takes a sum and turns it into a product. So if you look at um, A here, they say log base four of two plus log base four of 32. So when we use the product rule, we can write this as log base four of two times 32. And since it, that's numerical, I can take it further and actually say it's log base four of 64. Um, the bottom line is if you have log plus log, you're gonna write it as one log using the product rule. And then you have the quotient rule. And the quotient rule basically says if you have log minus log, you can write it as log of a quotient. So here we have log base B of R minus log base B of S. And they said this is one log of R divided by S. So here I have log of 4x minus 3 minus log of x. So since I have log minus log, I'm going to use my quotient rule and I'm going to write it as a quotient log of 4x minus 3 over x. Okay. Um, so going back to that power rule, it says coefficients of logarithms must be one before you can condense them using the product and quotient rules. So if you do see that you have a coefficient, hanging out in front of one of your logarithms, take that coefficient and turn it into an exponent. So notice that two natural log of x became natural log of x squared. And they did that first. That was their first step. Use the power rule to make the number in front an exponent. And then you can take the log plus log and write that as one single log using the product rule since you have addition. And that's how they got the natural log of x squared times the quantity x plus one. Okay, so when you're condensing logarithms, look to see if you need to use the power rule first, okay? Because the power rule will take a coefficient and turn it into an exponent, and we need to do that first. And then we can officially condense the logarithms. So if we have addition, it's going to become multiplication. And if we have subtraction, it's going to become division, okay? So let's take a look at the examples in your notes. Now, if you want, you could pause the video right here and try these out and then check back in, okay? Or you can just keep watching. So we're using the properties of logarithms to condense the expression. And in number one, I have five, log base nine of A plus log base nine of B. So I noticed this five, and I need to take care of this right away. So it has to become an exponent. So now I have log base nine of a to the fifth power plus log base nine of b. 
And since I have log plus log, I'm going to write this as one single log of a product. So I'm actually going to multiply these two. Yikes. Sorry, I did not mean to cross it out like that. I meant to highlight it. So I'm going to multiply the insides of my log together and write it as one single log. So this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like log base 9. And then I'm multiplying together a to the fifth times b. Okay, so power rule first to take care of that coefficient, followed by the product rule to officially condense. So when I look at number two, I have log base eight of x minus two log base eight of y. So I need to first deal with this coefficient. It needs to become an exponent. That's my power rule. So now I have log base eight of x is equal to, I'm sorry, minus log base 8 of y squared. And since I have log minus log, so subtraction, I'm going to write this as a quotient of these two things. Okay, so my final answer will look like this, log base 8, and then my quotient is going to be x over y squared. And so that's how we use the properties of exponents, okay? So when we're condensing a logarithmic expression, look and see, do I have to use the power rule? So if you have any coefficients out in front of your logs, then yes, you have to use the power rule, turn that coefficient into an exponent. And then it comes down to addition, subtraction. If you have addition, you're gonna use the product rule. And if you have subtraction, you're gonna use the quotient rule. And that is how Bagger breaks it down.